Okay. Up again. So here. Uh, this morning. Uh, tractor, or 18 foot bin right there. We're loading out of. I'm loading ahead for the semi that's on his way. He should be here in the next probably 20 minutes somewhere. Never be quicker than that. But come where we're at. Uh, the grain cart will finish the load next time, and I'm going to try and just load him right here along the road. See what we got left in there. Uh, the other beans we got is down the other way, about a two miles south here, southwest here. So I'm going to try and load him here, and he can just shoot on down that road and go on around. That's kind of my hope. But we're just loading him along, getting him going, or trying to help speed him up some. Uh, we'll have to get in the bin this time, I'm pretty sure, to get him out. And like I said, hopefully the grain cart holds what's left in the bottom when he gets full here next time. And I think it should easily easily hold it, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's the weed I planted that I was having issues with, but it don't look bad. Now, I did plant some of that twice. If, if there's a little two-acre patch here, I did plant it twice. I did not ever like to stand, but I have not really done a final stand check or seed count. Uh, seems we are low. Uh, may try and do that here next time waiting on the semi, but that's one of the uh, 20 acres of the uh, 100 we got. And if you zoom in, I did plant along the end rows as well, because it always does kind of wash along there. Uh, we don't go to the bins, guys. We go to where that pile of dirt is piled up there to block it to go down a ditch. But that's where we're at. Uh, other than that, uh, January 10th, but I'm in a flannel shirt and a, sle and a sleeveless shirt. Uh, 50 degrees in January is not quite uh, typical, but I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm sure we'll pay for it, like we always do, but... Uh, but it's supposed to be 52 today and 50 tomorrow. Now I think the weekend is supposed to be down in the 30s and 20s. So back to kind of usual, I guess you want to call it, average. Uh, but that's where we're staying. Uh, not much really otherwise going on. Just doing this. Uh, that's the last grain to move for a while. Uh, nothing else has been sold on my part. Uh, but we'll have one been cleaned out out of, I think, 35. I'm not quite sure exactly. I keep losing track. But there's a bunch in there uh, scattered about uh, four to five places. So not all one location. Don't have a lake system. Got a bunch of landlord spins and all that like these are with the place. Uh, nice to have the bins here for sure. Uh, this road uh, here will get posted. I uh, really kind of shocked we're able to be on it now, but you know, we've not had no rain uh, and all that. Oh, uh, my guy did lay tile last week. Uh, they did lay tile last week. He started, he worked on the rig there Thursday, no, Wednesday. Come over Wednesday, worked on the tile and rig, and uh, they started Thursday and uh, ran pretty late Thursday and uh, got done Friday at about uh, 10.30 my time, so... That job is tiled, looks great, it's done, uh, was not wet at all. Uh, that's one thing the guy said, and kind of like we both said, uh, you're talking uh, January basically, 5th basically, you're laying tile, uh, you're not in the mud, the hole's not full of water. And the next morning they kind of had, they went ahead and did all the mains and got them all dug out to hook on. And uh, yeah, there was no water whatsoever, uh, that was very, Shocking, but also unnerving how dry it is. Uh, but heck, that, that went in great. Uh, next to the woods where it's always wet in any farm or any field, next to the woods it's always wet, so that's just a given. But yeah, I mean, it, and even like he said, uh, you got off the slime below and it wasn't wet at all, it wasn't wet. Just dirt fell out of the bucket, and like he said, so that's just uh, January weather. January, that's not usually typical. Now, like he said, when it's frozen all that, yeah, you kind of see that, but he said, yeah, <laughs> we're far from froze, but no, it went in great. Uh, what little compaction, if there was anything from it, would be at a minimal. Uh, like I said, the, the tiling job's done. That's my main thing. It's done. Uh, so it's setting great. Went in and <laughs> I, I, I hate to say the one of the better shapes of the job we did. I mean, it went in great, really. I mean, 
laid in good, not mud. Uh, so that's done. Uh, starts raining, it'll start working, uh, and it'll have hopefully have some pretty good rains on it this uh, winter when it's not frozen, and kind of settle that trench in quite a bit, and uh, then get kind of the mains. Uh, uh, last year, in the one for my child, I spent. Uh, Oh, a good three hours with the skid steer, kind of pushing dirt where the main holes are, kind of scattering dirt around, and then also moving dirt back in on the uh, where they pick the pile up, kind of left some voids and all that, but put a little dirt with the skid steer on them and all that, and uh, now I never got a, yeah, I got about a three-tenth rain on them after I did it last year on that, and then that was it, and then it dried out, so that, not really what what I wanted to see, but it worked, uh, cultivated them all down. Uh, so hopefully we can do the same this year. Uh, there is one thing I seen, and, and he and I, I just seen it there the other day, where one of the mains which they or they dug uh, quite a bit of a piece of a portion of a main out with a bit of tobacco. Uh, I'm going to go move some dirt in it. I'll just get steering, kind of sit on top because I've seen it had really kind of settled, and, and I, I just seen it Saturday after they're already gone. I just kind of went back a little look at it, but that's one of them things. Just kind of, and there's a bunch of clay chunks and all that, so next to the woods and all that, fence row and all that, what I call it. So, I mean, that's not, not their fault. They done a, I'll give, I'll give them a 10. They done a great job, uh, but just kind of all that kind of clay, nasty, well, you know, kind of nasty clay and all that. But I just want to go push a little bit more dirt up in there and, and in a different spot where they've had it and all that, but, and kind of do that. So get that rearranged, what's in the plane, guys? Uh, so that'll make that better, but I'm going to try and do it tomorrow or well, maybe this evening because they're saying uh, rain showers tonight or tomorrow morning early so i want to try and get that what's halfway dry or drier i mean not like it's wet but i want to get it what's drier uh but yeah we got a load of beans here the guys on its way got one more to get here and then a load of corn so i'm hoping by one i'm hoping by two something we are done we are done here uh and it's yeah tuesday so i'm hoping by two something we we are done here with that uh my F-150 has got to go town for tires here after lunch. Well, I see that it's going to be down this evening. So i got to get it in there this evening. Or get right home with the wife or something and get it for new tires. Getting new tires for tomorrow put on it. So that's where we're staying. Uh, that's all I can think of. I uh, was, uh, was told yesterday uh, the uh, packet for Orlando on Commodity Classic should arrive in the mail from uh, Seed Deal tomorrow. Or should should arrive in the mail sometime this week, maybe next week. He said there's going to be all sent. All, there's going to be sent out. He said this week. He thought so. We'll know more on all that details of all that. Uh, got an interview slated, or a lady is wanting to touch with me on Illinois Agri News and Illinois Prairie Farmer as well. Uh, so we'll have them two to do. I've done I've done one for the Brownfield Ag Radio Network. Uh, I didn't see the article online. I've not seen the video, she said. Uh, but other than that, that's all I can think of. Just kind of slow time right now. Uh, when I get done, probably tomorrow, tomorrow I'll unhook the grain cart because I'm not really going to, we're not going to use it for a while. So I'll just unhook it and in my shed back there and throw it back there out of the way. And uh, my semi is in my shop right now. Uh, the guy was supposed to come put electric, uh, make it electric tarp. Uh, Booked me the weekend and got into a car wreck, so he never made it. So my semi's still in there. Don't really want to yank it out and him call immediately. So I'm not really using the shop right now. I may go nice weather. I may go get my two lawnmowers out. Uh, try and get them serviced and ready to go for spring. For spring, uh, kind of fill a boy to get something done and all that. But just kind of need a chance to get them done anyway. And 50 degree day, it's kind of hard to not. I want to get some of them outside and all that, and I can pressure wash some pressure, wash the deck out underneath them too, and do a hard wash on them, or maybe that, that for tomorrow. But that's my update for today, guys. Uh, not sure how often I'll keep doing these through the winter time, but be a good start here. Have one here and all that. So that's kind of where we're staying. Hope y'all enjoy, and I'll just talk to you later.